Microsoft Copilot versus Chat GPT. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel. If you're looking for the best in AI, Chat GPT, Microsoft Copilot, they are absolute top rankers. I'm going to show you now um, all the good stuff, the bad stuff about both of these platforms. I'm going to go through um, some of the things such as the user interface. I'm going to go through the creativity aspects. Um, I'm also going to go through some of the boundaries and drawbacks, and we're going to look at some general advantages and disadvantages. So let us jump straight in. The first thing I just want to note is the interface. Now, the interface over here, Generally, on Copilot is um, very inviting, very easy to use. You can see over here that you have a few pre um, preset commands, so you can compare, chat, laugh, travel, create, organize, and uh, then you can also make a song. Um, I will get into that a little bit later. So some of the nice things here is that everything is sort of laid out for you. Um, one of the other things is that you can actually use your microphone over here and then you also can add an image and I think this is fantastic. Now we just got to compare this to the interface on ChatGPT and I'm using the free version and the reason I'm using the free version is because ChatGPT 3.5 and Copilot are both free. So I want to level the playing field and make sure that you know we're looking at them both sort of on the same grounds. However, um, Copilot does use um, the GPT-4 um, engine, so really, you know, the chat GPT-4, um, uh, the paid plan, you're pretty much getting the same in Copilot, which is actually free. So again, having a look at the interface on ChatGPT, you can see again, you have some quick links over here, some uh, some templates that they basically have planned out here for you. And uh, you do just have a send message button. You can't actually make any recordings over here, uh, voice recordings, you can't upload an image. And uh, you know, so it's, it's a little bit of a downer compared to Copilot. So in that respect, um, I would say, you know, Copilot's really got everything laid out here for you and it's really easy to use. One of the things that, you know, I like to refer back on a lot of the things that I do. So ChatGPT has got this nice toolbar on the left hand side of here and they show you everything that you've done. They also give you a date, which I think is fantastic. I can just jump into any one of these things if I need to. Um, on the co-pilot side over here, um, you know, there's some recent files over here, but it's kind of hidden in the corner over there. And, uh, you know, I could kind of want it to be a little bit more visible. Um, it's a little bit more simple on in ChatGPT in terms of user interface. Now, looking at some of the creative aspects, I went in and uh, I created a few chats over here. Um, a creative aspect of ChatGPT is it can really bounce around with creativity, you know, and um, so what I did was I went in here and I started some chats. And uh, so what I did was I created a chat where I asked for a sentence um, translation from English into Spanish, French, Mexican, and Japanese. And this is basically what it actually gave me over here. So you can see um, it gives you a bit of a rundown, you know, and then it gives you what you actually need. Now, in terms of the actual accuracy here, I'm not 100% sure if it is accurate. However, I have used it previously for language translation, and it has been pretty accurate. Now, I can't speak Spanish, French, Mexican, or Japanese, but I can speak a few other languages, and I have previously used it and it has been fantastic. Copilot, on the other hand, uh, you know, I've got um, the same request over here. And as you can see, it has given me um, a sort of a rundown as well. And um, it's also given me some other bits and pieces. It's also given me a learn more tab. So like, you know, it's given me some extra tools, some extra resources here. So if I am actually looking to translate or if I am actually looking to um, use it as a language service, then, you know, it's given me a little bit more. One of the other things that I want to actually just talk about over here is um, it gives you the opportunity uh, when you're when you're creating your chat. So if you go ahead and you tap on new topic on the on the left hand side over here, it actually gives you the opportunity to 
uh, choose a conversation style which basically you know it's more creative more balanced and then more precise if you're looking for something to like um, write an email or if you're looking to do something more professional you want to use more precision over here and if you're looking to like sort of bounce ideas and brainstorm you want to use the more creative tab the ChatGPT does not actually have that. However, you can use commands, obviously, to sort of set the parameters in terms of how your responses will be. Let's have a look at some of the boundaries and some of the drawbacks that um, these these platforms actually have. So the first thing going into ChatGPT, um, I went and I have a summary of an article i just grabbed a random article off of um, wikipedia and i said give me a summary of this article and straight off the bat it says i'm sorry for any confusion i can't uh can't do that i haven't got the capabilities and that's great that's cool but it did give me a rundown of basically what the article is about however because of this first sort of paragraph it gives me the idea that you know the information in here may not actually be very accurate we're going over to copilot over here i did the exact same thing you know i copy pasted it and um the command that i use and over here it gave me a detail of a summary and then um, it also gave me the learn more, it gave me some links, it gave me some images as well. And then it also told me where these images actually came from. So now I can actually use these images. If I was using this um, for research, I'd actually have a lot more resources running in over here. So I think that is really, really awesome. It gave me a lot more than I actually asked for. Um, in terms of um, its capabilities, uh, ChatGPT really sort of is limited to a certain dateline. So, um, you know, if you're asking about new things, um, a couple of weeks ago, I actually wanted to learn a little bit more about Grok AI that has just been released. I went in and I asked more about Grok AI and, you know, I really didn't get much, um, you know, I didn't really get much in terms of, um, information up-to-date information now, i did the same on copilot and actually gave me like a really good amount of information i could actually use it to do a research project so i think in terms of um its boundaries um copilot really does have a lot more to offer let us also just take into consideration that we're using 3.5 on chat gpt and we're using 4.0 on the copilot platform so yes it's going to be different if you're using chat gpt and using gpt4 you will obviously see that there is a difference now getting into the advantages and disadvantages i just want to go in now to um, chat gpt i want to start here and really chat gpt 3.5 is very limited now you can go ahead and get an extension to upload files and you can communicate with chat gpt using these files and that's great they also have um, an Android um, app that you can download from the App Store so that's really convenient having a chat GPT app on hand on your mobile device that's great um, so some of the drawbacks is that it's really limited that you know 3.5 this is basically it there is nothing more to that so Jumping into Copilot now, there's so much that you can actually do here. On the right hand side, you've got um, your Copilot GPTs, you've got designer, a vacation planner, a cooking assist, um, you've got a fitness trainer. And then if you go into your plugins, you've got a bunch of plugins over here like Instacart, Kayak, uh, Klarna, OpenTable, Shop and Suno. And I've actually used Suno, I used it a couple of weeks ago for the first time and it actually blew my mind. So you can literally make a song with Suno. You can make a full song with Suno. Now, these are some of the capabilities that are absolutely free with no limitation. So Copilot's really taken the lead here and um, offering this, you know, to a mass of people absolutely free. And um, it really has a lot more that you can use on Copilot. One of the other things is it does not have um, a mobile device app that you can download from uh, the app store but that's fine because on my uh, windows 11 desktop actually when i received windows 11 i actually saw this little copilot over here and if you tap on it you actually get an index top um, little copilot tab over here so you don't even have to jump into the browser you can actually just use this copilot it's actually a preview and uh, you can literally use it right over here without actually going in 
to um, going into your browser and using it there. So it's, you know, it's got like a, that nice add-on. You can add on um, your plugins to this as well. And, you know, it just feels to me like it has so much more capability. Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about, and I didn't mention it before, is the pricing. And let's be honest, you know, if you're going to be using a product, you want to know that you're getting value for money. Now, um, ChatGPT, if you go over to ChatGPT and you go and tap on the upgrade plan on the bottom left hand side or you go up to the ChatGPT 3.5 it has a drop down menu and you tap on upgrade to plus basically you can see over here if you're upgrading to the plus plan it's twenty dollars a month uh, you get access to the gpt4 um you also get to browse create and use gpts you also get access to additional tools like dali browsing advanced data analysis and a bunch more now if you want to know more about that you can go ahead tap on um, the upgrade to plus and actually take you to a page where you can learn more about that i have used dali before it is fantastic however you are paying 20 dollars a month to receive the service if you are looking for a team um, plan they do have a specialized team plan over here and um you know you are paying a monthly uh, a monthly fee going into copilot though um copilot really it offers so much like just you know like trying to make a song or trying to organize or trying to do just the basic the bare minimum um you really have everything for free however it does have a premium package it is 30 dollars um per user per month it does require an annual commitment just the same as chat gpt and then it does say you can achieve more than ever before you get integrations with um teams uh, microsoft word outlook powerpoint xl and um, all of the other Microsoft 365 apps. You also get an AI-powered chat with Microsoft Copilot and then the enterprise-grade security, privacy, and compliance. Now, that sounds like some premium stuff over there. Now, of course, you know, getting something like this, you're paying $30. And, you know, for what you're getting, it doesn't actually sound like a lot of money. So having a look at a feature like integrating it with your Teams, um, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Teams, Outlook, PowerPoint, you know, you can really integrate all of your own data into um, Copilot and you can really sort of um, harness the power of its AI to to take advantage of, you know. So there we go, um, ladies and gentlemen, having a look at ChatGPT, having a look at Copilot, really, I've been using ChatGPT for a lot longer. However, I just do want to say that since I started using Copilot, it is just, it's a lot better. It just feels a lot better. It feels more um, open. There's a bigger ground to to play on and um, I can do so much more. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, drop us a like. If you want to know more about AI, there's a couple other videos we got. You can go in, jump there, check us out, and we'll see you on the other side. Cheers.